Welcome to our channel, where we are dedicated to providing you with the tools and resources you need to unlock your full potential and achieve your goals. Whether you're looking to improve your career, relationships, or personal growth, we're here to help you every step of the way. In this video, we will be diving deep into the motivational secrets of Dr. Joe Dispenza, a renowned author and speaker in the field of personal development. Dr. Dispenza has helped thousands of people unlock their minds' full potential and achieve their goals through his best-selling books and frequent speaking engagements at conferences and events around the world. In this video, we will be sharing some of his most valuable insights and techniques to help you unlock your mind's potential and achieve success in all areas of your life. So sit back, relax, and let's get started on this journey towards personal growth and success. We are all supernatural creatures. Each of us has a small but vital organ that is essential to our consciousness and spirituality. In science, it's known as the pineal gland. In the spiritual realm, it is known as the third eye. The pineal gland is part of the endocrine system and is located in the brain. The pineal gland's primary job is to regulate our natural rhythms, processes, dreams, and spiritual experiences. When the pineal gland is stimulated, our levels of consciousness increase substantially. There is a connection between our spirit, soul, and body. Each energy center is defined by the chakra system, which includes an internal organ and unique nerve bundles. In our situation, the pineal gland is related with the third eye chakra, which is placed between the brows. The eye and the element of light are related with the chakra. Imbalances in the chakra appear as physical complaints such as blindness, memory loss, and blurred vision. The pineal gland is an energy hub that receives spiritual messages. It appears to activate when people experience peace, prediction of things, and higher consciousness. Did you know that years of meditation can cause the brain to grow in size? This little organ connects the physical and spiritual bodies. The pineal gland, as part of the endocrine system, is responsible for the generation of melatonin and serotonin. Serotonin and melatonin are chemicals that regulate our mood, sleep, and emotional well-being. DMT, on the other hand, is a hormone that is released during spiritual and mystical experiences, dreaming, and when the organs collapse. The ability to connect the physical and metaphysical realms is critical for spiritual development. Quantum science characterizes us as electric beings in a state of resonance with the Earth's electromagnetic fields. To activate the pineal gland, the body and spirit must vibrate in unity. So how can you harness the pineal gland's power? Meditation, sun gazing, mantra chanting, and breathing exercises can all help to activate the third eye. You can activate the third eye by breathing in and compressing the air by your body's energy centers. While holding your breath, imagine the energy remaining at the top of your head. This causes the spinal fluid to rise to the pineal glands, causing them to activate. In this state, your mind and body shift from survival to conception. To have a better understanding of how this works, it will be explained in the continuation, each scientific term, its function, and its location in the body. This breathing technique involves closing the airway in order to increase pressure in the nasal cavity. Holding your breath will allow more oxygen into the pineal gland. The pressure generated on the pineal gland by holding one's breath produces calcium carbonate particles, which can generate an electric charge. The piezoelectric effect, which causes a certain level of mechanical stress on these particles, causes them to stretch even further, resulting in the activation of the third eye. When the frequency of the field of created energy increases, the chemistry of the gland particles will get interwoven. Melatonin and its metabolites are used by the pineal gland, which creates melatonin. In response to darkness, the brain releases the hormone melatonin at this stage of energy flow, and metabolites are chemicals that one enzyme converts from another chemical. Both of these chemicals are anti-aging, anti-cancer, and anti-inflammatory. Furthermore, if you hold your breath and apply pressure to the pineal gland, the pressure causes additional molecules to be added, such as the methyl group or a few extra carbon molecules. Because of the presence of extra molecules, the pineal gland includes chemical substances that are similar to those found in warm-blooded animals that hibernate. You might be wondering why this is important. During hibernation, a period of inactivity, the body enters a state of stagnation. Stasis is a state of equilibrium, or a condition of balance, where there is no desire for anything other than pure happiness or calmness. That is the equilibrium state. 
At this point, you are no longer concerned with the physical body, and if you want to create a direct connection to the mind and soul, you must move past the physical body. What if the same molecules, melatonin and metabolite, are biophospholuminescent again? The chemical used in the metamorphosis is similar to that found in electrical eels, a specific type of fish. The chemical biophospholuminescence causes a very high energy amplitude in the neurological system when the molecular structure of the molecules changes. The synthesis of these substances causes the neurological system to be activated. From here, the issue becomes much more interesting. If we continued to modify the chemical with dimethyltryptamine, humans would eventually experience high levels of hallucination. Every experience in the neurological system is heightened at this stage, including consciousness, awareness, visual imagination, and so on. You are currently in three dimensions. Valium quickly relaxes the thinking brain. At this point, the meditators are calm and at ease in the face of the unknown. They have achieved the DD, which is a binaural 4 hertz wave recording designed to provide an instant reset from tense thinking during our deep sleep periods. Delta waves play a role in healing and regeneration. Returning to the breath we described earlier, we can see that the breath pressed into the muscles of the pineal gland is responsible for bringing the mind out of the body and releasing energy to the brain. According to research, when a meditator reaches the high gamma level, the brain produces the fastest brain waves. The brain's center connects to the brain's back, producing a realm with unlimited time and space, a realm with all dimensions and no past, life, or future. When this stage occurs, the human is comparable to the evolution of its soul, in which things become clear to the human and the human realizes that we are spiritual creatures living supernatural lives. Breathing is also used by practitioners of yoga to manage the various systems in our bodies. Adrenaline rushes into the brain as you hold your breath. You are now feeling from your heart rather than your thinking. In this stage, you have complete control over your automatic system. However, the role of the pituitary and hypothalamic glands in the effectiveness of this process cannot be underestimated. The pituitary glands release alpha waves when the brain experiences serenity, joy, or relaxation. As our sensitive bodies come across frequent alpha wave emissions, they begin to experience gamma wave emissions. When our brains are deep in meditation and our third eye and crown chakras are active spiritually, gamma waves are released. The hypothalamus and pituitary glands are linked to the crown chakra sahasrara, which is located at the top of the head. The chakra governs consciousness, memory, and awareness. The crown chakra is related with our feeling of being, wholeness, significance, and world perception. Understanding that we are multidimensional beings opens the door to comprehending that you have the ability to create. Learning this truth begins with initiating the movement of energy in the prana tube, a tube in the body. The pranic tube is the axis or core for the toroidal energy field that surrounds your body and creates a current by activating the neurons as it passes through each center. Finally, your body accepts an energy current, allowing you to feel more connected to non-physical energies. Thank you for watching this video on how to unlock your mind's potential with Dr. Joe Dispenza's Motivational Secrets. We hope you found this video helpful and learned something new. Remember, the key to unlocking your mind's potential is to stay motivated, focused, and take consistent action towards your goals. Your feedback is important to us, so please feel free to leave any questions or suggestions for future videos in the comments section below. We appreciate your support and look forward to continue creating content that adds value to your life. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video and please share it with your friends and family. We wish you all the best on your journey towards personal growth. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.